This is News 4 Tucson, live at 6. It's just a matter of making the decision based on safety and quality as opposed to exclusively making it on cost. Football is one of the most dangerous sports to play. From youth leagues to the NFL, it appears all levels now are trying to reduce the number of head injuries. Yeah, so what if your loved one isn't wearing the best protection that's out there? News 4 Tucson investigator Brett Buganski has a look tonight at the football helmets that student athletes are wearing. Friday night under the lights at Sunnyside High School. Yeah, it's great, man. Love it. <laughs> the rain may be coming down. We're out regardless of the weather or what's going on, winter leaves. This is football weather. <laughs> Carrie Shute watches her grandson, who plays for Buena High School, as they take on Sunnyside. In the first quarter, a player goes down after a big hit. The game stops. Fortunately, he's able to walk off on his own. But on the sidelines, it appears a coach is giving him a concussion test. It's something a parent never wants to see, but it's the reality of the sport. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh. And parents want to make sure their child has the best protection available. This is the Biomedical Engineering and Science Lab at Virginia Tech. What you're seeing has become the de facto standard for the industry. Front, side, back, and top. Each football helmet is tested 120 times. Some know it as the drop test. At five different levels in four different directions, they are testing the impact absorbed by each helmet, and they rate them from five stars, which is the best, to not recommend it. It's just a matter of making the decision based on safety and quality as opposed to exclusively making it on cost. Ricardo Valerdi from the University of Arizona studies concussions and the Virginia Tech rating system and says it's designed to help people make smarter choices about football helmets. You could still get a concussion with a five-star rating helmet, there's no question. Uh, but the risk of it is going to be reduced. We contacted various schools, both public and private, to find out what kind of football helmets they're using. While the majority of schools in southern Arizona are using five and four star rated helmets, meaning best available or very good, we did find out there are some schools using two star rated helmets meaning they are just adequate. We feel like we're very conscientious. Safford Middle School is one of them, celebrating its 100th year in existence and a place that's played football for decades, even back to the time when they wore leather helmets as it's displayed on the school's mural. What do you tell parents whose kids are playing football that have that two-star rated helmet? You know, it's not something that we've really paid much attention to. Uh, now that you brought it to my attention, I will. Athletic Director Joe Burnside says he's confident his vendor is selling safe helmets, but he admits he wasn't familiar with the Virginia Tech football helmet ratings. Does it make you reconsider the safety of the helmets that you currently use? I will definitely follow up on that, and I'll check with my company that I deal with. You know, I really trust our athletic trainer and I trust our vendors that they're going to sell us good helmets. It's a similar response from Buena High School Athletic Director Greg Deuce, who says the school is in the process of phasing out its two-star rated helmets. Why phase them out next year rather than do it presently knowing the rating? Yeah, well, and, and, and what we will do is, is uh, currently we have eight of them, and we have six of them on the shelf right now. Deuce also acknowledged the district is using seven different helmets, ranging from five to two star ratings. He says that's because not every student athlete has the same head and the helmets they wear best fits them. But those different helmets mean different safety ratings. The one with a two star helmet for the same impact could actually get injured. Uh, a lot more severely than the one wearing a, a better five-star helmet. So um, it's, it's, again, a risk issue. And it's a risk some parents do not want to take. Well, hopefully the school looks at, takes a look at that and, you know, and maybe gets those five-star rating ho helmets. And they should really phase out what they can now. Investigating for you, Brett Boganski, News 4 Tucson.